Hey everybody, how are you? Welcome back. Um, I am gonna be, sorry for the lighting, but we just had a wonderful rainstorm come through. I realized that I am out of my chicken marinades in my freezer that helped me get my dinners prepped. So yesterday, my husband and I, we went over to Costco and I picked up some chicken and I left some out. I, I, have, I froze the plane yesterday, but then I left a whole bunch out so I could get my chicken marinated and ready for easy dinners this summertime. And anyhow, I have a list of all my ingredients and what ones we're gonna do. I have my Ziploc bags in my market and we're gonna get ready to get this going. Let me bring you along. So the first one we're gonna do is a Sriracha marinade for the chicken. I have become a big fan of Sriracha. I like the flavoring. I think it gives things just really great flavor. Maybe you're a little too close. And this is the July of 24. And then I found another one. I think it's really, it's called a Greek lemon marinade. And I think that just sounds so refreshing for as hot as it is out right now. So we're gonna make one of those. And I'll go over all the ingredients with you. And then another one is a balsamic uh, glaze for chicken. So that one, I know it's going to be great. I love balsamic vinegar, especially um, over asparagus. Have you ever done that and roast it? It's so delicious. So, and I think because I haven't pulled anything out, I think I'm gonna use one of these marinades tonight. Cheat a little bit. So, so let's get started. I think that, so what I did is I just basically go and label the bags and I put the dates. My grandmother and my parents used to do this all the time and it just helps me. This one, I'll probably do the balsamic glaze tonight for supper. So I think the first one I wanna get started with is the sriracha. And for this, you're gonna need one uh, tablespoon of sriracha, one tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons of coconut aminos or soy sauce. I do coconut aminos. One tablespoon of freshly squeezed lime juice. I don't have lime juice, but I have my doTERRA oils and it's lime flavored so I'm going to use that and I do have lemon juice if I need it and one tablespoon of rice vinegar I don't have that but I know that my apple cider vinegar is a perfect substitute because I just did that in a video of my ground turkey Asian inspired meatballs I can link the video somewhere up in here for you if you want to go watch that so let's get this started Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get my sriracha sauce out, and it is one tablespoon. I can really estimate it. There we go there. And we're going to do the same thing with our honey. And um, I'm not really going to measure, I'm just going to eyeball it here and measure with my eyes because it just makes it that simple. There we go. And then to that, I am going to use my coconut aminos. Now, I can't do soy, so I buy this. Feel free to use soy. You can use a regular soy, low sodium, or a gluten-free soy, um, your choice. So that is two tablespoons. So we are going to do two tablespoons of that. And I am gonna measure that. Just. I love this smell. This sm the, the smells are just, they're just so good. So we'll put that in there. And then, because I don't have a lime, I am gonna just do a couple of drops of my essential oil. Not a lot, but just a little. There we go. And I'm gonna add a splash of my lemon juice in here as well. There we go. There's the marinade. It was that easy, right? Put the lid on this before I spill it. I'm going to grab my chicken out. I came home yesterday and when I was dividing it up, the chicken juice just ran all over and I just, I don't like that. And I just took the rest of this and just threw it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the refrigerator and I thought, wow, 
I will work with it tomorrow and get this going. You know, I have a small family at home now, so. so then what I'll do, then I just put it in here, and I just, I like to marinate everything together. Trying to massage it in there. Zip it up, and there is one dinner ready to go. I'm gonna set this aside over here, and on to the next, we are going to do our Greek lemon. I think what I'm going to do. All right, for the next one we are going to make is our Greek lemon. And to my bag, I am going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm actually using avocado. Use what oil is best for you and your family. And then I am gonna add two cloves of garlic, but what I'm actually gonna do is use this minced garlic because it needs to be used up and I wanna, I wanna get it out of my refrigerator. So before it goes bad, We'll put that in there, and then I need to do one tablespoon of lime juice, which I have right here. That goes in the bag, and then to that, we are going to add some salt. I'm not affiliated, but you guys have heard me say many a times, I use only the Redmond Real Salt. I love the flavor. I love um, how it brings out the flavors in foods. And then some pepper. I love pepper, if you can't tell. And then, I don't know what I just did with it. Some oregano. My oregano is wet outside, so I'm just gonna grab some here. You're gonna get about um, a teaspoon of that and just sprinkle it in. And I'm done, friends. There is another marinade ready for supper. I'm just gonna rub this all together and just get it all coated. Easy breezy, right? And I just realized I moved and you probably did see one thing I did. And I do apologize. Here we go. So, all right, there's another supper here ready. Now for tonight's dinner, what we're gonna do is you're gonna add in, and I've done this I think before, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. But we like Dijon mustard, so plop that in there. And then again, I'm using up my garlic we are gonna do one clove of garlic. So I put that maybe about a, a teaspoon or so of this minced garlic, it works. Close that up. I forgot one ingredient. And then I'm gonna, ooh, gonna get some Italian dried seasonings and put in here. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Again, I'm using avocado oil. Use what works best for you and your family. Some salt. Pepper. A half a cup of balsamic vinegar. And I forgot one ingredient, friends. Let me run and go get it. Right, and then our last and final ingredient is going to be one to two tablespoons. Did I say tablespoons? Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse mine out because I had been using it. And then I will one to two tablespoons of brown sugar. That should be really good. I'm gonna do probably one and a half tablespoons. 
this I'm going to use for our supper tonight. And that's it. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. And that's it. I'm just going to rub all these seasonings together. And I'm going to just pop this in the refrigerator and let it sit for dinner. That didn't take me very long at all, friends. That, that probably took me maybe 10 minutes to put together. And I made three dinners out of it. Um, I have three three dinners ready to go. Just put aside with it. My son walked in and, and I told him the flavors. He's like, what are you doing? And I told him what I was making. And he he even made the comment about the Greek lemon. He goes, that would be really good with pasta. And I'm like, yeah, that's perfect. That was a great idea. So I think when I do that, I'll keep that in mind and have that over some pasta. I think that'd be absolutely delicious. So yeah, how easy was that? I will link all the recipes down below in the description box. And um, I hope that you try these out and you can put these in your freezer. Uh, I should have left all my chicken out and just done a whole bunch, but next time I'll do that. There's only three of us in the house, so it's okay. I have other things that we'll eat and we'll get through. And, uh, but it's nice to know that these are ready to go to make an easy supper one night. So anyhow, friends, thank you for joining me back in my kitchen. I really love being in my kitchen as much as I have been. It's been such a pleasure and I enjoy spending the time with you. And I hope that you try these recipes and we will see you on the next video. Take care, be blessed. Bye-bye.